Hi, my name is Shamiso Ayano, also known as Bright Eyes. So in this podcast, I'm going to talk about ways of getting a job based on my personal experience and how you could get a job in fashion. It is possible to get a job in fashion and never go to school or don't have any experience in fashion. So... Um, I want to um, talk about my sister. She's a good example. She um, she started her career in fashion. Um, my sister didn't want to work in fashion like that. She just needed a job. So at the age of 16, she started in retail. And then when she turned 18, she worked for a, a store called Forever 21. And then when she... Um, start going to college she needed a vehicle and she wanted to make a little more money so um, she asked me if I know any jobs because she wanted to make a little bit more money than when she was working in retail and because I was a graduate at FIT and I knew how to look for work in fashion and they also give FIT who graduate um, lists of jobs companies that only want um, people who already graduated. And also, if you did not finish school at FIT and you are taking classes, they also have job posted whether you graduate or not for outsiders who wants a job in fashion. So, um, there's a number of ways of getting work in fashions or applying for jobs in fashions besides depending on the school, but I will get into that later on. But I want to talk about my sister because her intentions was not to work in fashion. She just wanted to make some money. That's all she cared about It's just getting a job to make some money, and that's it. So she got a job in a a lingerie company um they start with a w it's a well-known lingerie company i'm I'm very bad with names sorry about that and she worked as a visual merchandiser which is a really nice job because what you do you fix the clothes on the display it's a nice job the hours are very flexible and that's great for her since she was going to college and she made more money working for the fashion company. So when I said, well, I don't don't know whose idea was it for her to work in fashion. I don't know if it was my idea or her idea. Maybe it was my idea. But I said, hey, why don't you work for fashion? She said, you know, I, I don't have no experience. You think they will give me a job? I said, just be yourself. And my sister is very charismatic. She's very social, and people gravitate to her. She's very easily like, you know, and to be charismatic is something you're born with. So people just really like her, you know. But she got her job, she got the job right away. And she worked as a visual merchandiser, even though she never went to school. And she had no experience in fashion. And she was honest with her resume, where she worked at, what school she was attending, because she was going to a university in New Jersey. So the, the reason I'm talking about her is possible to get work in fashion even if you didn't go to a fashion school. And a lot of great designers also did not go to fashion school. They were, like, working with a mentor who trained them. So it is possible to work for a company or a designer who could train you instead of you actually going to school. So it is possible for you to go to school. The only two fashion... I don't know if she worked at more fashion jobs, I can't remember, but I only remember these two fashion companies. One was the visual merchandising job, 
and the other company she worked for was a cheering wear company. She did not do any designing at all, but she had a tax at the job, and unfortunately, I don't remember what her job position was, but she worked for a cheering wear company. So, so it is possible to get work at fashion. Don't feel you have to go to school or have experience. I have also met other people in the fashion industry who never went to fashion school or who did not have the experience. They got a job because of word of mouth. So it is possible to get a job in fashion if you never went to school, if you don't have any experience. Like I say, it does not take a rocket science to do fashion. You could just train someone and they could do the job for you. Okay, I want to talk about this book. This book is called Portfolio Presentation for Fashion Designers. When I bought this book, I didn't have intentions of using it to look for work. I bought it because I wanted to improve on my presentation. My presentation was not the best, and I didn't know that until I was trying to transfer from Pratt Institute to FIT. When I spoke with a woman, and I wanted to see why she didn't think I was um, a good candidate to go to FIT. So um, they grade me based on my portfolio and my grades that I had at Pratt. So I just let them know that um, even though I had, they didn't know when I was attending Pratt, I also was taking FIT classes at the same time. So I was going to two universities at the same time while I was attending school at Pratt and also at FIT. And um, I never told them that, you know, cause I wanted to see if, I didn't think it was that big deal. I, I, I didn't think it matters, you know? So I never told them that I took classes at FIT because I wanted to know why she didn't think I was a good candidate to get accepted. So she graded me a B minus on my portfolio, on my artwork. And that has to do, even though the sketches were really nice and well done and made, my presentation wasn't great. So when I realized that I said I need to work on my presentation. So that's why I got that book. But it so happens, not only that it helps you on your presentation, it also helps you get work in fashion. And it just shows the expectations of how to make sure your portfolio stands out, as well how to prepare for an interview or how to make your resume stand out, which I didn't re really know. I just bought the book for a presentation, but I took everything from the book. I read the book from cover to cover and did everything like the book suggests I do. So, um, yeah, I, you know, I did not get into FIT at first because of my presentation. Well, she graded me a B minus in my grades at Pratt. But I explained the situation. I say, hey, you know, I know the grades is not that best, but I was attending at two universities at the same time. And I was going full time at Pratt Institute and FIT. And at the time, the, the classes were very affordable to go, so it didn't cost a lot back then to go to college. Well, it Pratt was very expensive. When I started at Pratt, it was 30000 a semester or a year. Either a semester or a year. It was a lot. Back then, that was a lot. And Harvard and Yale 
was charging about forty thousand. I'm not sure if it's a semester or a year. I think it was a year, and that's a lot to go to those prestigious schools like Harvard and Yale and stuff. But if Pratt was thirty. It was a lot. That's a lot back then. But anyhow, at the time, um, FIT's class was affordable. At the time, FIT class was, was a little over $100 per credit at that time. So um, I was able to afford to go to classes at, um, at FIT and um, go to Pratt at the same time because back then it was very affordable. But that's how I stumbled on this book. Portfolio Presentation for Fashion Designer. It's a great book. This book really helped me get interviews at fashions, to get jobs at fashion. You know, I wouldn't got any work in fashion if it wasn't for this book, really. I wouldn't. I probably would have got one or two jobs, but it would have been very difficult for me to get my foot in the door or to have doors open without this book. Seriously. Okay, so I want to also talk about where you can find jobs in fashion. You could look for jobs in fashion with a magazine called WWD or a news article that talks about fashion. It stands for Women's Wear Daily. Another website where you can find jobs in fashion is Credlix, which is very old, but it still works. Another place you can find jobs is called The Village Voice. It's a news article that's in New York City. That's another place where you can find jobs. And your website that everybody know, like Indies, Glassdoor, Lincoln, those are the other companies, website companies where you could see if you could get a job in fashion. And another great way of getting jobs in fashion is working for a temp agency or a freelance agency. So I did that. I worked for 24-7 agency. So... Uh, that's how I was able to get freelance work in fashion. So there's, and, and the last thing I start doing, so depending on these websites or news articles like Women's Wear Daily to look for jobs, I did research on my own and I look for jobs on my own because some fashion companies, if they want to save costs, Instead of paying a freelance agency or a temp agency to, for them to help them find workers, um, they rather save the cost and pay directly to you. And that's what I start doing because I wanted to make more money. So if I could do the work of trying to get the job on my own, working temporarily at these fashion companies, then they will pay me more instead of me getting paid by my freelance agency. So that's another way. Sometimes these companies, they're looking for people to do temp jobs, but, you know, they don't want to pay the freelancers because it's just a cut back on costs, you know. So that's another way of getting work in fashion. So... That's pretty much it. I just want to explain that to y'all. Y'all can still get jobs in fashion. Whether you go to school or not, if you go to school, it'd be a lot easier because they, fashion companies do list jobs at universities. But it's possible to not go to school as well and look for a mentor to help train you to in fashion or to go on your own as possible. My sister did it, and she worked in the fashion industry, and then she moved on. She got a job in the city, and now she's a nurse. She's an RN, a RN now. She had no plans of being a nurse, but she just 
follow the money. That's all she cared about. So basically, yeah, you could get a job, whether you go to school or not in fashion. You know, they prefer if you did go to school so you have some foundation. But like I say, it doesn't take a rocket science to learn how to do fashion so it's possible to work in fashion with or without experience, whether you went to a fashion school or not. Okay, so I'm going to end the vlog.